All right, folks, hello and welcome back to Downstage Gaming. I am your host, Josh, and this is part 17 of our Let's Play of 12 Hours to Die. And folks, I think we're doing it here. <laughs> I think I think we might marathon it here to the end. Well, we'll see how things go. But uh, last time, we went, we restarted the Inquisition and uh, have found some new truths. Seems like Cecile did not do it because Reyna was definitely alive after Cecile attempted to kill Reyna. Uh, we have discovered pretty much everything that the killer has done at this point. It is the same person who assaulted Edmund that killed Reyna ultimately and set all these various traps and such. Uh, and we pretty much got the method, but we don't yet have a who. And we have one hour left. And so we need to decide the killer soon. It's easy to say that, but how? We know what the killer did, and we've eliminated Edmund and myself. But that still leaves three of us. The killer has to be someone who was able to go to the fourth floor before hour 605. But that doesn't tell us much at all. Who is, uh, who is where based on the... Do, 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 Billy was third floor. Right, and Edmund was... So, I mean, again, we're really pointing at Billy here as... The, the common thread, and I don't know if that's just a huge red herring. Because, like, the gloves were found in Billy's locker... A lot of the stuff that he did, like climbing down the rope from the catwalk, seems like an athletic thing to do, as I pointed out last time. We'll see. Without any more clues, it's pretty much a crapshoot. Well, again, we, ha we have some more clues we've not discussed. The glove seems like a huge one that I should have brought up like 10 hours ago. We're on the final hour. Let's find the killer. You say that, but how? Killer could be any of us. We know how the killer did it, true, and we know who couldn't have done it, I guess also true. But can we even identify the killer now? I believe we can. Instead of trying to decide the killer now, let's focus on what we don't know. Well, we don't know who the killer is. Billy, shut up. We don't know where the killer's knife is, that's true. Or how they protected their hands with the ropes, we do know that. Gloves. Booyah. When the killer climbed down the stage ropes, they needed to protect their hands somehow. Otherwise, their hands would have incriminated them right away. That's why they had to put on these gloves. Ah, my old gloves. I mean, what are those? Do you recognize them? <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw them on the catwalk earlier today. It would have been where we were first exploring the, when we were first exploring the first floor. If those were in the catwalk, then the killer must have warned them when they climbed down. So where did you find them? Were you listening? They were on the catwalk. So again, I don't, I don't think Billy's this dumb. I don't think Billy would say that if. I know they were there originally, but I want to know where you found them, Edmund. What is that? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he is that dumb. Shut up. Well, Edmund. I found these gloves in... Sorry, Billy. They were... Billy's locker. M -m -m my locker? I see. It's just as I thought. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Because, like, it, it's totally possible if we could get in there for anybody else to get in there. Argus could have gotten in there. Tomoka could have gotten in there, but I don't really believe that happened. How much of an idiot are you, Billy? You know exactly why those bloody gloves were in your locker, and Argus, Argus being a little, little pushy here. I don't know. You hid them there after you killed Reyna. What? I killed Ray. <laughs> yes, you. You're the only one. And I mean, if we go back to just, like, who is the most obvious person to probably kill someone based on, like, their emotional state, I do think Argus was the most leaning that way. Are you sure it's that simple? How many of us would know his locker com locker's combination? He's the only one who could unlock it. <laughs> and not only that, he fits all the criteria of our killer. Our Hey, oh, uh, you're really you're really laying it out the same way I did as a star athlete. He can easily overpower Edmund as well as climb down the ropes. He also knew about the gloves since he searched the catwalk earlier today. No, you got it all wrong! You were searching the third floor. Oh, wow. 
So when you're accused, Cecile, Billy does everything he can to defend you, but when Billy's accused, not reciprocated, you took the floor closest Edmund so you could kill him, didn't you? Not you too, Cece! You knew about the secret door. You even explained it for us. Wait, hold on. I am super implicated here, but it's not what you think. A clumsy murder like that. It's only fitting you concocted it. I mean, it's actually, like, surprisingly in-depth, considering a lot of the other aspects of it. Hold on. It's true that I can probably climb down, and I even knew about the secret door, and the gloves were in my locker, and I wanted to kill Edmund and Raina. But, I'm not the killer, I swear! That's what they all say. Cece, please believe me, I didn't do it! Prove it! <laughs> this can't be happening. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's vote before we run out of time. No, stop, please! It's a trap, I'm being framed! Oh, just shut up already. Well, Edmund, you ready to put this murderer away? He tried to murder you, and he killed your sister. Finally, there will be justice for Reyna. I feel horrible. We're sending him to his death. It's clearly not him. But I knew I would feel this way no matter who did it. Ed, listen to me. I swear to you, I didn't attack you. I didn't kill Ray. Edmund! Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Help me. I... No, that's wrong! <laughs> Tomoka? <laughs> Makoto? It's still too early to indicate Billy. I mean, to indict Billy. <laughs> you can indicate all you want. Alright, what do you got? It's possible Billy's being framed. Well, of course it's possible. Nothing is exclusive to Billy. Anyone can find the gloves of the catwalk. Anyone can climb down the stage ropes. And unless you remember who attacked you, almost anyone could have done it. I, uh, I'm not sure you could have done it. No offense, Tomica. There's no concrete evidence against Billy. Concrete evidence against Billy. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that's concrete. Yeah. But there is evidence. She's ignoring the obvious. Alright, it's possible Billy's being framed. There's no way we can contradict that. Nothing is exclusive to Billy. We can't contradict that. Well, I think. But we'll find out. Anyone can find the gloves in the catwalk. That's true. Anyone can find the gloves in the catwalk. Anyone can climb down the stage trunks. Probably true. I don't have a good way. And unless you remember who attacked you, almost anyone could have done it. I don't know about that. The secret door thing is the thing that I think is most exclusive to Billy. There's no concrete evidence against Billy. Huh. Alright, let's, let's, one, let's save. <laughs> Two, let's take a look at some of this evidence. So we've got the secret door. What does that say? Secret passageway in the wall between the two adjacent locker rooms. So there's no handles. Doors can push open. Okay, so nothing there specifically says one way or the other. But Billy, we, we were told that Billy was the one who knew. And Billy was the one to bring it up in this trial. We don't know if other people... It didn't seem like other people had any idea. But that they could have just been lying. These clothes are found in Billy's locker. Real, they were sold in blood. That's, yeah. So anyone could have put them there. Uh, what else do we have? The rebar. I'm interested to see about the rebar. Originally from the fourth floor catwalk, stabbed into Edmund's back. I think this might be what we're getting at, because who could have done this would have needed to be, in, like, fairly athletic. That might be where we're going with this. I don't see how the rules are going to come into play here. Uh, so he's back, sit, well, nope, open the door, nope, okay, I don't see. The only thing at all there that could be related is that once the door is unlocked, no, no, even, the, no, that has nothing to do with anything. Okay. Bomb threat. That's just telling us where people were. There's no reason that Argus couldn't have traveled up to the fourth floor and done this. 
So I don't see. So start with the bomb and the jam. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't see how that can really relate to anything. I don't think ropes are going to matter here. Like, Billy certainly is the most obvious person to climb up and down the ropes, but... Now, the lighter is still interesting, because they would have to have taken it from Edmund, right? But nothing about that points exclusively to Billy or not to Billy. And then we're back at gloves and secret door. Alright, so I think it's either secret door or rebar. The question is, where are we going to put it? Nothing is exclusive to Billy. That could be the weak point. Enemy can find the gloves, that's true. Enemy can climb down, that's true. Let's remove attack you. Almost anyone could have done it. I think let's try rebar here. No. Okay. Gah! Brain, why aren't you working? I need to calm down. Think, Edmund. Okay. Find the clue. And is this the last one? Anyone almost done? We can do it. There's no concrete evidence against Billy. Try rebar here? No. Okay. Then let's try. Let's try secret door. On those two. Let's start with the last one. There's no concrete evidence against Billy. Nope. Okay. Crap. Okay, try it on that second one. Almost anyone could have done it. Nope. <laughs> okay. Then let's try the one that's uh, nothing is exclusive. The secret door. No. Okay. Hmm. The rebar. Nope. Alright, well we're definitely going to be loading <laughs> after this. I can tell you that much. I mean, I don't see how anything else... It's possible Billy's being framed. We're not contradicting that. Like, we can't do that. Anyone could find the gloves in the catwalk. Are, are we getting it that... No, because even if it's... Hmm. Let me just try something. I don't think this is it. Is it, is it possible that, like, Billy took the gloves back then and I'm just forgetting that when we originally explored? Anyone can find the gloves? No. Okay. I'm an idiot! Anyone can climb down the stage ropes. Is that true? <laughs> nope. Okay. Alright. Let's... Let's load. Yeah. Oh boy, I mean, I'm just about ready to just start trying everything on everything. <laughs> I really think it has to be Rebar Secret Door, though. Try a Secret Door here. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Try Rebar here. Nope. Gah! Okay, nothing is exclusive to Billy. Anyone can find the gloves in the catwalk. I don't, again, I don't think this is it, but I just want to try Rebar and Secret Door and everything just to completely rule those out at this point. Anyone can climb down the stage ropes. Okay. And I believe that's everything for Rebar. Anyone can find the gloves, anyone can climb down the stage, unless you remember who attacked you, almost anyone could have done it. No concrete Evans. Yeah, okay. There is Evans. She's ignoring the obvious. So that, ma that makes it sound like the thing that we're supposed to do is this last one. Whoops. Dang it. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Almost anyone could have done it. There's no concrete evidence against Billy. Um, okay, so let's just try. Let's just start trying things here. Rules. Okay, no. Shut up, Edmund. Bomb threat. No. <laughs> Shut up. Ropes. Oh, no. I, 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 forget, I forget if it's the last one or not. There's no concrete evidence. Okay. Ropes. No. 
Finish it up. Lighter. I think we could have done that. There's no concrete evidence. No. Okay. <laughs> Load it back up again. This is... I'm, I'm just totally stumped. I have no idea what we're talking about if it's not Secret Door at Rebar. Must anyone have done it? There's no concrete evidence. Let's get Billy. Okay, we've done that. We've done rules. We've done bomb threat. We've done ropes. We did lighter. Gloves. Okay. <laughs> Don't see how that's concrete. That's not concrete. That's not concrete. All right, fine. I, I'll give it to you. But only Billy knew his locker combination. He's the only one who could have opened it. Did you forget? What, did you forget that we literally opened it? Did you forget that locker combinations were reset? Anyone who knew the default combinations could have opened Billy's locker. Not only that, his locker was already unlocked. There's hundreds of other locker of other lockers available to him. Why would he hide something that incriminating in his own locker? It's a great point, especially since he couldn't lock it. Why is that? It's like screaming, I am the killer. She's wrong. She's wrong, right? Okay, I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to agree with her in the end here, but I'm not quite sure where we're going with this. Did you forget that locker combinations were reset? That's true. Anyone who knew the default combinations could have opened Billy's locker. True. Not only that, his locker was already unlocked. That's true. There's hundreds of other lockers available to him. That's true. Why would he hide something that incriminated in his own locker? That's the, the only thing we have there is because he's dumb, and that's not it. Especially since he couldn't lock it. Why couldn't he lock it? Ah, because of the rules. Yes. Gotcha. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's a weird way for that to come back up, but I get it. That's right. You're right, Tomika. <coughs> Excuse me. The rules dictate the doors cannot be locked after being unlocked. Even locker doors that only apply to actual doors. There's no way Warren can keep the lockers from locking, right? Ah. Uh, if you think about it, lockers are pretty much doors to your sweaty gym shorts. So they're not exceptions to the rule. Exacta mundo. How is that even possible? As I thought. So you're saying Billy can't be the killer because he wouldn't hide those gloves in his locker? Like I said, there were plenty of other lockers and all of them were unlocked. I just find it hard to believe that Billy would pick the one locker we'd link him to. You make a good point. For as much crap as I give him, I don't think Billy would be that stupid. See? It's just like I said. I'm being framed. It doesn't mean you're off the hook, either. But we can't afford to vote as long as there's any reason for doubt. So now what? I just played my entire hand, so I'm out, of, I'm out of ideas. You also really made yourself look bad there, I guess. We'll just have to continue our discussion. But there's nothing left to discuss. Let's just vote for Billy before more truth comes out. We've already gone over everything. We know what the killer did and how they did it, but we still can't link anyone to them. This would be so much easier if I saw my assailant's face. If only I could remember anything about who attacked me, then at least I know what to look for. Is there anything we haven't discussed yet? It doesn't matter how unimportant it sounds. We don't know who Reyna's note was intended for, but if she had it, then it probably wasn't sent. What about the knife? Did anyone find a knife? Even if we found one, how would it tell us who the killer is? It's a special engraved knife. This is probably a dumb idea. What did the killer do before attacking me? What do you mean? We've discussed when they attacked me, when they killed Reyna, and their escape. But not what they did before all that. But what's there to discuss? We don't know what they did. But we can make a few guesses based on what we do know. If we do that, maybe we can better understand the killer's actions. Understand their actions? Why would you want to do that? You want to kill him? Despite what you might assume, the killer is not an idiot, which is why it certainly can't be Billy. I believe the killer only does what they deem necessary. For instance, the killer only climbed down the stage ropes because they were trapped. If there are any actions that don't make sense, I think it's worth looking into. Makes sense. Okay, let's do it. Killer only does what's necessary for them, so I need to seek out the actions that do not make sense. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. 
Okay, all right, let's let's start thinking about this. Bomb announcement was at hour seven. While Cece and Ray stayed to search the gym, the killer went into the halls like the rest of us. That's logical, since we don't know who the killer is. Yeah, we don't know which floor they went to search. At around hour 6.15, the killer went to the fourth floor. They attacked Edmund on the catwalk. And the rest is history. Based on what we already know, we can infer that these were the killer's actions. But something about them feel off. Hmm. Bomb was at hour 7. Cece and Ray stayed to search the gym. So they went into the halls like the rest of us. Since we don't know who the killer is, we don't know which floor they went to search. At around hour 615, the killer went to the fourth floor, then attacked Edmund on the catwalk. All right, let's start looking at some evidence here. We haven't done anything with this. This is the key used to open doors in stairwell B, found in the lighter in room 211. It's, there's, there's definitely some things that are odd about that, but I don't know if that's related to this. Catwalk door leads to the catwalk in the fourth floor. Door can be only be opened in the hallway. There's a little bit of a, like, it's a risky place to have done the attack on Edmund because of the fact that the door could shut on them. The bang. A few minutes after their sex announcement, we all heard a bang, so like metal. Billy and our guests were on the second floor hallway when they heard it. Tom and Seal were on the first floor hallway. That's the I mean that that that's just a part of their trap. That seems fine. The bomb threat itself is where they all were. Everyone splits up. Are we getting at that they were the only ones who knew the bomb was disarmed? Yes. Yes. This has to be it. Right. Because we already know that Cecile can't possibly be this culprit. And we know it can't be Reyna because Reyna is dead. They're the only people who know the bomb was disarmed. So the question is, why would they kill if they didn't know the bomb was disarmed? And what we're going to be getting at then is probably that they're the mastermind. Okay. All right. All right. I think I think we've got it. I think we've got it. That was that was for bomb threat, right? I just want to make sure I have my thing right. Uh, yes. Okay. So now the question is, where to use this? She seemed raised to killer went into the halls like the rest of us. Since we don't know who the killer is, we don't know which floor they went to search. Killer went to the fourth floor, then attacked Edmund on the catwalk. So let's try this here. Nope. Okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh, let's I feel. I feel like this has to be it, though. I'm, I feel like I'm crazy if this isn't it. So we must have just used in the wrong place. Hopefully. Killer went to the halls like the rest of us, since we don't know, we don't know which floor they went to search. Killer went to the fourth floor, attacked Edmund, and the rest is history. Dang. Really feels like that should be... <sighs> Let's just, I'll, 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 I'll reload. <laughs> I'll reload, but I want to try this on everything just to make sure that this isn't it. Went to the halls, okay. Ba, 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 ba. There's nothing there yet. Okay, killer went to the hall. Since we don't know who the killer is, I don't want to agree with Argus on anything. We don't want sure they went to search. Around 16, the killer went to the fourth floor. No. Okay. So that so this can't be it then, unless unless we're gonna agree with Argus. Then the tag on the catwalk, and the rest is history. Yeah. All right, well, that's not it, then. That really feels like the thing, though. Dang. Victim's body was discovered in the gym backstage. The estimated time of death is 5.55 p.m. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Hmm. Microphone stand. 
look at that. Where is that? Come backstage, made of metal, base is heavy, luminal test real blood traces all over it. Security footage. Oh! Are we getting at the fact that they would seemingly know about the camera? Again, I don't know I don't know if I'm thinking about this like completely wrong, but Super ba, 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 ba. Yeah, because I mean I mean obviously with this we could get at the fact that they knew not to be found there, but I don't know if that contradicts anything that happened here. Let's uh let's try it at some places here. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, killer went into the halls like the rest of us. I don't think that's gonna contradict this, but again, I just wanna try it at all the red spots. Bup, 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 bup. At around 6.15, the killer went to the fourth floor. Okay, so that is it. All right, I'm going to load <laughs> so that I can have more health. Uh, sorry if you think that's cheating, <laughs> but come on. Okay, ba ba ba. I run 16 and killer went to the fourth floor. We want security footage. Okay. At hour 615, the killer went to the fourth floor to kill me. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. It's just. It makes no sense. What do you mean? What doesn't make sense? We began searching for the bomb after the hour 7 announcement, but the killer didn't attack me until hour 615. It took the killer 45 minutes to find you? So the killer searched for at most 45 minutes, then went to the catwalk intending to kill. That's true, but it still doesn't make sense for the killer to attack me at 6.15. The reason it doesn't make sense for the killer to attack me at 6.15 is... And now I think we're, we get to my previous point. Which is that they did not know about the uh, bomb. Yes. Booyah. Okay. Well, I'm sorry I'm a step ahead of your game. Why would the killer wait until hour 6.15 to attack me, when there's a bomb about to explode? Ah, I see what you mean. Well, it's a little different than what I meant, okay, but fair enough. Well, the bomb was disarmed at around hour 6.30, so please stop before you embarrass yourself any further. Huh? <sighs> the only ones who knew the bomb was disarmed was Reyna and myself. The killer attacked Edmund while ignoring the bomb that was about to explode. So? Argus, you're really putting yourself in a weird position here. So you'd think the killer would be more focused on finding the bomb first. You make a good point. Warden made it very clear that the bomb would kill us. But there's no way any of us would ignore something like that. Yet the killer seemingly did exactly that. But why? There was no benefit for killing as long as the bomb was still active. Did the killer just not care? Did they just do it for fun? It's possible, but I don't think that's all there is to it. There has to be an underlying reason for the killer's actions, I am sure of it. There has to be? It's no use trying to understand a killer's reasoning. You'd have to be really screwed up in the head to kill someone. Logic does not apply to killers. No, there has to be a reason. Why did the killer take such a huge risk? The killer could have attacked me at any time, so why did they wait until hour 615? Why did they wait so long to attack me? Is it a coincidence? Or maybe... Maybe the killer was able to ignore the bomb. Because they knew something the rest of us didn't. They knew something? Like what? Like when the bomb was disarmed. What? I'm with Edmund. I believe that's what happened too. Hang on, are we even sure the killer just didn't do it for no reason? Possibly, but then why would they wait so long to do it? They could have done it any time during hour 7, so why did they wait until hour 6.15? Even if their conscience stopped them until then, I highly doubt they would do it with so little time remaining. At that point, I just focus on finding the bomb. I guess that makes sense. You should listen to her. She knows a thing or two about murder, lol. I admit, I haven't considered that possibility. But it is even possible for- But is it even possible for anyone else to know about the bomb before the announcement? It is! There's a way for the killer to know too! Right, Ed? Yeah. <laughs> Order in the court. Hold on, hold on, hold the effing phone. Yeah, that's right, I'm still swearing. I'm still a bad dude. What, keep it down, we don't have time for you right now. Just consider this a freebie. Yeah. 
Interesting. Okay. What you got for me, Warden? Pinky over there is the killer. Yeah, sure. She went up to the fourth floor after murderizing the blue Brocon. She is guilty. That was my verdict then. And that's the only correct verdict you can get. So stop wasting our time and just get to the vote. Or do you really want everyone to die with you? What's going on? Why is Warden interfering now? Because we're obviously getting close to the actual <laughs> person who's behind all this. Alright, Pinky over there is a kill. That's not true. She went up to the fourth floor after murderizing... I mean, we know that she didn't die because of the security... I find that very hard to believe, because Cecile left the gym at hour 6.15, and she wouldn't have had enough time to run to the fourth floor and attack me. The only way I'll believe that is if you show me the footage. There's no way I'm showing you that. It's an invasion of privacy. I don't need to show you, Squawk. Pinky's the only possible killer. She was in the sound booth. She's the only one who could know when the bomb was disarmed. I only told everyone once the announcement played. He almost sounds desperate. But why would he care if he if we died? Especially after everything he's put us through. Okay, so I'm I'm assuming what we're getting at here is in Mana's message. That crazy, crazy lady. Okay. Video, uh, find the mastermind like the network. Uh, okay, that's actually not as helpful as I was hoping it would be. Um What's in the laptop? It's a program, okay. Security footage. Mm, Rain of his murder, Tom can still discover the crime scene. Because the thing I the thing that I think is the weak point is there's no there's no way I'm showing you that. It's an invasion of privacy. I don't need to show you squad. None of that's it. Pinky's the only possible killer. That's not it. She was in the sound booth, that's true. She's the only one who could know when the bomb was disarmed. This is what isn't true. And this is what I have to disprove. So how do I, I mean, basically what I want to say is that the person who is behind all of this is, is the person who could also know, but what do we use for that? What are, what are in the rules here? I've been so blah, 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 if the killer's exposed. The phone timer runs out, blah, 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 okay. Could be, could be that, but it's not catwalk door. It's not bang. It's not sound booth event. It could be Mana's message. Maybe could be laptop, could be security footage. All right, let's go ahead and save. Let's try rules on this. No, shut up. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's get back to there. The only one who could have known. Okay, let's try let's try Mana's message. Okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Um laptop? Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's try. Oop. Try security footage. Because you can see? Nope. Might need to check the evidence again. Might be missing something. We already tried rules, didn't we? Try it one more time, just in case. Nope. Okay. Uh, I don't see how the catwalk door could possibly be it, but at this point, it's again one of those, let's just try everything on this one. I'm like pretty positive this has to be the weak point. I don't see how the bang could possibly be it here. Okay. Sound booth event. Oh, is this gonna be? Oh, that's stupid. Okay, we're getting a little, we're getting a little more just uh, regular logic than I had, was thinking because somebody could be. Or, or, is the thing we're gonna say here that somebody in the sound booth could have seen them disarm it? Okay, so. Sound booth event. No, the timing is way too tight for Cecile to be the killer. Nevertheless, the real killer did know when the bomb was disarmed. But the only one who could know are the ones who disarmed the bomb. 
That only leaves your expired blue brocon sis or pinky. But there is one other way for the killer to know without being in the sound booth itself. And that's by listening through the sound booth vent. And now hold on a sec because sound booth vent connects to the second floor hallway. And uh, who is in the second floor hallway again? How interesting, Argus. How interesting. Hoak? Screw this. I'm out of here. That vent is the only way anyone else could know the bond's status, at least before the Hour 6 announcement. We even tested it, right, Billy? Yep. After I crawled through, I can still hear you. Though I think my head was still in the vent. It's safe to say anyone who was close enough to the vents could listen in on the sound booth. If I could hear your soft voice, <laughs> your beautiful, gentle voice, then I could definitely hear. Think carefully about how you'll finish that sentence. What? <laughs> so the killer, oh, I see. So the killer, he's insulting Cecile's voice, which fair enough, given the voice I've given her. So that killer knew the bomb was disarmed because they listened through the vents. But Billy just had, Billy just said he had to stick his head in the vents to hear Tomika's voice. Do you understand what I'm getting at? The killer would have had to know to listen to the vents to begin with. Exactly! That's true, they couldn't overhear the sound booth by accident. So whoever listened to the vents had to know the exact location of the bomb. There's only one person who fits that profile. And I, oh boy. Oh boy, am I ready. Am I ready to jacuse? This will only be possible. Oh, we're not even getting to that point yet. The Illuminati! There's only one person who would know. The one controlling warden. Arg, I mean, the mastermind. Zombka. The mastermind is the one who sent the bomb, so they would know exactly where it is. But that would mean one of us is the mastermind and killer. Exactly. The mastermind created warden to speak for them. That way, they can participate without revealing their identity. You got it. I just can't believe it. One of us set this whole thing up? One of us abducted and forced us to endure this hell? Who? Who would do this to their own friends? Now is not the time for that. Leave that for philosophers. <laughs> the killer and mastermind are the same. They listened through the sound booth vent. That's how they knew when the bomb was disarmed. Wait. Could it be? The person who has obviously been it for the past 30 minutes? We may get our answer sooner than expected. Sooner than... What are you getting at? You've realized it too, haven't you, Edmund? You know exactly who the killer and mastermind is. It's been pretty freaking obvious. Yeah. Are you serious? You know who the killer is? Who? Who did it? Was it Billy again? <laughs> I haven't quite worked out the kinks on this theory, but we don't have time for that. Come on, we're running out of time. Who's the bastard behind all this? Yeah, no pressure or anything. I risked everything for this moment. I just have to compile the information I have and just go with it. Only one of us can be the killer and mastermind. Only one of us killed Sis. It's probably the guy who she <laughs> publicly denied. The killer is me. I don't know how I did it, but I did. It was you, Argus. Huh? So it was you. All right, you had your fun. Now tell us who the real killer is. I mean, who could ever hate me? Argus Xenos, or whatever my last name is. Oh god, you're serious. I would expect this from Tomica, but you? You really think I killed- Why are you talking about Tomica like that? You went to search the second floor. You knew you would be alone. But instead of searching, you were waiting by the sound booth vent. Waiting for Raylan to seal to disarm the bomb. That's when you put your plan into action. But Billy could have listened through the vents instead of me. How? I was on the third floor. You just had to sneak down and avoid me. Besides, you suggested I search the second floor, remember? Why would I hinge my entire plan on your decision? Then why didn't he give himself the second floor? Huh? If he had to sneak around you, then he could have missed the moment the bomb was disarmed. If Billy intended on listening through the vents, he would have given himself the second floor. That's purely circumstantial. Besides, the bomb was found at hour 6.30. Cecile said so. Then it took the killer 15 minutes to find Edmund on the fourth floor. How do you explain that gap in time? It's feasible to have taken 15 minutes to find Edmund. There were a lot of rooms, and you had to make sure that he wouldn't notice you coming. 
All right, fess up. You're cornered. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> you know, all I'm hearing is how I could have done it. But that's all it is. A possibility. Everything you've said could still apply to Billy. So why am I the one under suspicion? Is it because I'm acting like a crazily suspicious person? I don't see how that's relevant. There was something you said earlier that tipped me off. In your rush to pin it all on Billy, you slipped up and gave yourself away. Oh, really? You heard it too, right, Edmund? I, I don't think I did. Yeah, that's sure I did. Argus, earlier you said this was evidence of Billy's guilt. God. <laughs> um... Um... <laughs> How far back can we go? <laughs> uh, is there a limit? Bop, 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 bop. Tried to murder you. Finally, there'll be justice for Reyna. Okay, so we just get cut off right before it was probably it. Fantastic. You gotta love that. Alright, well then, let's, let's save. <laughs> Alright, what did he say? was evidence of Billy's guilt. I remember him talking about the gloves. Let's just let's just try gloves. Okay. I don't really see how that Argus you referred to, Oh, that's what it is. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Argus you referred to these as bloody gloves. Bloody gloves, but they're clean. Exactly. Anyone who looks at these gloves can see that. I never once told anyone about the blood on these gloves, and yet you knew, Argus. You knew these gloves were covered in blood. Come on, guys. When I said blood, you remember the movie I made? Wasn't that fun? I didn't mean it literally. It was for emphasis. Uh, man, it's creepy that they were literally covered in blood. <laughs> Funny, in all the years I've known you, you never once said bloody for emphasis. <laughs> well, I'm more British than uh, you might think. All right, then it's time I stop screwing around. Let's say hypothetically, I killed Reyna as you claim. Then what? What did I do after committing this murder? You went into the senior boy's locker room, then hid the gloves in Billy's locker. Used the secret door to go into the adjacent locker room, then left the gym. And then what? You returned to the second floor. Where is he going with this? How did I get to the second floor? Stairwell B. That's impossible. Dang it. I thought because we had the key. Remember, <laughs> stairwell B is locked on the first floor. You still think I went up those stairs? Alright. Glad we have an understanding. Now I'll ask again. Uh, stairwell A. It could be the sound booth event. No, it couldn't. Stairwell A. <laughs> the only way was through stairwell A to the third floor, then stairwell B to the second floor. Okay, then you use the key. Okay, exactly. Now then, I have a question for you, Billy. For me? After we split up, when and where did you find me? It was about five minutes after the hour six announcement on the second floor. Eck! <laughs> What's wrong? Sometimes I, sometimes I just like doing the, the Aflac duck. It's exactly as he testified before. I was just about to head back to the gym when he found me on the second floor. That means somehow you got there before me. That's impossible. Think back to the route I would have to take. Just like had been said, I'd have to use stairwell A to go from the first floor to the third. From there, I'd take stairwell B to the second floor. We know that. Why are you bringing that up? You still don't get it? Think about the timing. Raina was killed at hour 6.05. The hour 6 announcement was at, well, hour 6. In order to return to the second floor, I'd have to go through the locker rooms, then run up and down the stairs before Billy even thought to go find me. I had less than five minutes to make that whole journey. Do you honestly think I could run that fast? Peck. I don't think any of you could run fast enough. Now that's something I do say all the time, is peck. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, everything was lining up perfectly. But he's right, the timing is too strict. There's just no, no, there is a way. Oh, well, all right, thanks, Tomika. Oh, really? Why don't you enlighten me then? Go ahead. Tomika, what are you talking about? What's the fastest way to the second floor? Don't worry if it makes sense or not, just tell me. I mean, this is literally the thing that I said before and I could have proved it with the evidence then, but you didn't let me do it before. Fastest way? If we ignore all logic, the fastest way from the first floor to the second floor is stairwell B. The fastest way I can think of is going directly to the second floor from the first. Directly? But he just said that would take forever. 
True, if you were using stairwell A. Stairwell A? Tomokar, are you thinking what I think you're thinking? Stairwell B? Is such a thing possible? I think Argus used stairwell B to get from the first floor to the second. I guess that makes sense, in a sort of stairwell B kind of way. Makes sense, my ass. In case you morons have forgotten, stairwell B is locked on the first floor. What Tomika is suggesting is pure fantasy. Tomika seems to have an idea, but is it even possible? No, right now I shouldn't be thinking about whether or not it's possible. But rather, what would make Tomika's theory possible? It's not fantasy. There is a way. I can't believe you're even considering this idiocy. You're grasping at straws. Maybe so, but still. This is what you use to go directly from the first floor to the second. I mean, right? Come on. Right? <laughs> I mean, come on. All you needed was the stairwell B key. After unlocking the stairs on the first floor, you'd have a shortcut to the second floor. Before we keep going, I must ask, where did you find that key? Reyna found it after we explored the second floor. She entrusted me with this key, and I've kept this on me at all times. Not that. Sorry, I should have been more specific. I meant, where did you find that key after you woke up? After I woke up, it was in my pocket. Your pocket? Edmund, you're killing me. If you're saying I used that key, why do you have it? How could I have ever possibly slipped it back in? He has a point. Why do I have this key? Never left my side. No, I don't know that for sure. Wait a minute. Tomika, I was there when you searched his pockets. Does that key look familiar to you? No, I didn't find anything in his pockets. What? But I definitely had it when I woke up. It's very strange, almost as if somebody used it and then put it back to try to avoid suspicion, but it actually made them look more suspicious. While Edmund was unconscious, he didn't have the key, but it returned to him before he woke up. Here's what I think happened. After killing Reyna, Argus took that key out of Edmund's pocket, then he used it to unlock stairwell B on the first floor. But why does Ed have it? Argus couldn't keep this key on him. It would have been damning evidence against him. So he hid it in the one place he thought we wouldn't find it. Oh, please, give me a break. The place where he hid the key, it has to be <laughs> somewhere clever. Based on what we know, we can only come to one conclusion. It wasn't somewhere clever. Argus hid the key in my pocket. That's crazy talk. If I really did take the key, when did I have the chance to return it? When you went backstage. Huh? During the investigation, I saw you walk backstage. I assumed it was to check the crime scene, but you had something else in mind. You were hiding the key. Since the rest of us already finished our inspection there, we had no reason to return. You were able to hide the key backstage without drawing suspicion to yourself. <laughs> Speechless, eh? I'm surrounded by idiots. I'm just dumbfounded by your idiotic, foolish, half-wit, ignorant, and stupidity. Let me see if I understand. After killing Reyna and Edmund, I took his key, which I didn't know he had, mind you. Then I used the key to go to the second floor using stairwell B. It's a compelling theory, but only that. Just a theory. If that's all the evidence you have against me, then you're all bigger idiots than I thought. You've deluded yourself so much into thinking I'm the killer, you're completely ignoring the other idiot who could have done everything you're claiming. If I really did all that, you'd show me some proof. Prove I took the key and went up the stairs. But no, you can't prove it. If you could, you would have shown it to me by now. Instead, you're resorting to stupid theories. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. So you get nothing. You lose. Definitely, this is the way that somebody who isn't guilty acts. Good day, sir. He's getting aggressively defensive in a really weird way. Is this really the same Argus I knew? Time is running short. We need to end this soon. There must be something I can use to prove he's the killer. But how? Here we go. You're all idiots for believing I'm the killer. You knew when the bomb was disarmed. Maybe we should suspect you, then. You knew the gloves were bloody. Like I said, moron, bloody is for bloody emphasis. You avoided the camera by going to the locker room. Assuming I even knew there was a camera. You took Edmund's key, then used it to unlock stairwell B in the first floor. That's all just speculation. All you idiots have are just theories and crap. I swear he has an answer for everything. 
There are no witnesses or any physical evidence. There must be some other way to prove his guilt. Okay, my theory that I have right now, how we're going to do this, is... Uh, the fact that he put the key back in uh, Edmund's pocket... He's saying that all this could be either him or Billy. But Billy never checked the crime scene, I believe. I, be I believe that that is true. You took Edmund's key. So let's try this. <clears throat> you took Edmund's key before you left the stage. Then you returned the key during the investigation. And and I think you just missed the key in his pockets. That's impossible. Tomiko is very thorough. Even if I believe that, you still can't pin it on me. Billy could have done it too. Alright, so I know that this isn't true, but how do I prove this? But I never went backstage during the investigation. Sure, I totally believe you. Do we have any way to actually prove that? Huh. I mean, what do we have? Say well, Beaky. Bomb threat. Monus message. Raina's wounds. Gloves. Luminol. Laptop. Oh, man. I mean, the only thing I can think to use here is Raina's wounds. Tomokazu Thorough. I believe that you still can't pin me. Let's, let's save as well. Alright. Billy could have done it too. Nope. Rain. Hmm. Is there any way to actually prove this? I don't know that there is. Yeah, no. Alright, let's try. Let's try looking at some other stuff then. Start over. All idiots. You knew when the bomb was disarmed. <clears throat> you listened to the sound of this event. You're the only other one. I oh, and only I could use the event. Right, he's right about that. So, you could have went to listen instead. We can't prove that. Why didn't he search himself to make himself look innocent? Yeah, nothing there. Maybe we should suspect you then. The seal has an alibi. The security footage shows her leaving at hour 615. There wasn't any time. I agree. The seal can't be the killer, despite the fact that I just accused her. There are still other suspects. What are you looking at me for? Okay, there's nothing there. <clears throat> you knew the gloves. I don't think this is it. When the blood of the microphone stand, the gloves and bloody, blah, blah, blah. You framed me for race murder. You did that yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me doing the voices for this long. I'm really doing a number on my throat here. Then tell me how you knew about the blood. It's just an expression. <laughs> it's sad to say my vernacular is not evidence. Okay, that's not it either. Said more on blood is or bloody emphasis. You avoid the camera by going to the locker room. This could be something. I don't think he was trying to avoid the cameras. He had no reason to believe any of us could find the footage. I'm not sure if that's true. But why else would he go to the lockers? Perhaps he needed to use the shower. For what, my clothes? Those were queen when they were found. He must have washed the gloves in the shower before hiding them. Billy probably washed them in the shower. Why would I wash them if I was trying to frame Billy? Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. Ba 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 ba. Assuming I knew there was a camera, you took Edmund's key, and used it to unlock stairwell B on the first floor. Unlocking stairwell B provides you with a shortcut. A shortcut only you can benefit from. That's decently true. I wouldn't use it because I'd risk running into Argus on the way up. True, but how do you know I used it? We can prove it if we try opening it now. How does that prove anything? Even if I benefit most from it, it doesn't prove I used it. God, I don't know. Took a mince key. There will be. It's all just speculation. <clears throat> okay, I think it has to be one of these last two, and I really, I really think the thing is that first one that I had. I think there's something about this. I think I just haven't used the right evidence yet. Um, so let's let's try it. 
Because the thing that we have to prove is that Billy couldn't have done this, I think. It's possible. You still can't pin it on me. Billy could have done it too. Okay, so... Let's try this. Okay. This is just going to be a round of try everything on that one weak point again. Bomb threat. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Billy could have done it. Well, could Billy have done Mana's message, though? Did you think about that, Arcus? Did you think even for a moment about that? All right, we already tried Reina's Wounds. How about Gloves? Nope, okay. I believe that, so it can be on me. Luminol! <coughs> Crap, no matter what random things I throw at Argus, she's just not flinching. How about Laptop? Okay. I think, can we try stairwell BK? I think we did, but let's try it again just to, okay. All right. Man, oh man. Real quick, let me just try. If we go all the way out, is there any? So there is an answer for everything. There are no witnesses or any physical evidence. There must be some way to prove his guilt. Okay, let's try actually looking at the things here. And, and seeing what could possibly be used here. I don't think that's anything. We're gonna let the sound booth enter backstage. Blah, blah, blah. Tomba can still discover the crime scene. I don't think that's anything. I don't see how the laptop relates. I don't see how the luminol relates. We've done everything with the gloves, I think. There's this thing, which supposedly is a clue for the password. I don't see how, though. Huh. Alright, his wounds, bruises, small cuts on the back of her head, small cuts on her body and wrist. Any of them could be, okay, that's not anything. There's the thing about him having the most convenient thing with the key, but I don't see how that man, oh man, oh man, man. All right, all right, well, listen, here's what's up. I'm gone for a while. <laughs> I, think I, I think I need to give my brain a break. And I think we'll come back and finish it. This is going to be like a very short break for me because again, I want to I want to try to get to the end of this here. But let me let me, let me take a short break here. We'll come back after after thinking about this for a little bit, and and we'll see where we can go. All right. So until then, this has been Downstage Gaming. I've been your host Josh, and I will see you next time for the conclusion of Twelve Hours to Die. Catch you then. <laughs>